Hello, this is Dr. Gary from First Leg MRI, and this is a 17-year-old male who's an athlete. He's had pain in the thigh for about a month or so, worried that he may have some muscle injury or stress injury, and he came in for the MRI, and he has a marker right over here, overlying the area that is swelling, where there's swelling and pain, and we see that deep to this marker, in the medial and distal thigh, we see that there is something wrong with the bone. This is the femoral shaft, the diaphysis here. It comes down and we see this sharp zone of transition between the normal bone, which is dark, and the abnormal bone, which is bright. So this is a bone tumor, primary bone tumor. It's large. It also has a bright area along the medial margin that goes into the muscle. This is a soft tissue component, so the bone tumor involves the marrow cavity and also uh, has a soft tissue component that's beyond the marrow cavity. This is called a T1-weighted image, and marrow should be bright on this. Anything fatty is bright, and the marrow has lots of fat, so it should be bright. And right here we see the marrow is replaced, and it's dark. So this is the same bone lesion here, just a different sequence. This is called a T1-weighted image, and this is called a fat-suppressed T2 or STIR image. They look very similar. And we see a large bone tumor in the femur with a large soft tissue component. The cortex actually looks pretty good. There's not a lot of... Uh, bone destruction. Often when bone tumors are this big, the cortex, which is the black line, will be um, absent or markedly irregular. The patient does have these areas of darkness within the soft tissue component. These are probably little areas of bone, and on x-ray, we probably see radiating areas of uh, bony density within this. But when we see in a 17-year-old like this, a bone tumor that's large with a soft tissue component, we think about two main things. One is osteosarcoma, and the other is Ewing's sarcoma. They're both aggressive malignancies, and he's going to see a bone surgeon and will probably have a resection with a limb-sparing surgery. Nowadays, they can um, often remove the tumor and um, keep the limb. In the um, past, they used to do just an amputation below, but now lately they've, been able, they've had some pretty decent success with resection and then follow-up. This is an axial material where we can see the femoral shaft. This is normal. See the cortex around the area looks dark. I mean, this looks normal, but this is the soft tissue component around the outside, which is abnormal. But on this one view, we're faked out a little bit because the cortex looks so good. The marrow cavity looks pretty homogeneous, but we see this large soft tissue component. And this marrow is abnormal. If we roll up, we'll see this is normal marrow. If we come down, this is the replaced marrow. On this view, we can see that soft tissue component is bright, and so is the bone tumor there. And that's it. So a, an aggressive malignancy, um, probably osteosarcoma or Ewing sarcoma.